In 2020, Paper Mario The Origami King was announced just 57 days before its retail release. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX took just 50 days between reveal and release. And at an all-time low end, Super Mario 3D All-Stars was announced and released within just 15 days. Nintendo is notorious for holding games close to their chest until months, sometimes weeks, before they're ready to launch. In an industry where games like Beyond Good and Evil 2 get confirmed in 2008 and still have yet to receive a release date by late 2022, Nintendo's more transparent model is welcomed. However, that doesn't mean there aren't exceptions to the rule. Here are the stories behind the 10 longest waits for Nintendo published games on the Nintendo Switch. Number 10, Splatoon 3. The bottom of the list begins fairly mildly, although several to come are atrocious. Splatoon 3 was announced in a Nintendo Direct on February 17th of 2021 and released on September 9th of 2022, after 569 days. While this is hardly the norm for Nintendo games, it's not an outrageous wait time, especially for a primary and blockbuster Nintendo IP. As we'll see again, in some instances a long wait time is a result of an early announcement, and others because of a delay. This game had a bit of both. Nintendo, coming out of the rough, pandemic-laden year of 2020, knew that Splatoon would benefit from a long lead time, but also that it would be an exciting announcement to revitalize an audience after the complications of the previous year, meaning an announcement a bit earlier than necessary was worthwhile. But on the other end, Splatoon 3 is speculated to have been internally delayed from its July 2022 release date to September 9th, swapping places with Nintendo's premier JRPG, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, which was slated for September until it was moved to July 29th. Funnily enough, Swapping the places of those two would lose Splatoon 3 its spot on this list, and the previous game from this Nintendo development team, Animal Crossing New Horizons, would take its place at 554 days. Number 9, Advanced Wars Reboot Camp. This game is surprising to be on this list as it originally was meant to release within less than a year of its announcement on June 15th of 2021, with an initial release date of April 9th, 2022, at 298 days. However, this humble remake of two beloved Game Boy Advance strategy games deals with war simulation and specifically includes story beats with a fictional country stand-in for Russia. And in the weeks leading up to the game's release, an actual war began whereby Russia invaded Ukraine, and out of respect, Nintendo postponed the release of the game. However, one user who had pre-downloaded Advanced Wars Reboot Camp, a standard feature with upcoming games, actually did get to have access to the game for a brief period, until Nintendo revoked that license remotely. But at the time of this video, we're in late 2022 with no release date to speak of, and a Nintendo Direct having just concluded, so it's safe to assume it won't be coming out at least until a few months into 2023, meaning the count will be somewhere north of 600, or 654 if it makes it on the last day of the fiscal year, March 31st, 2023, the exact same count as the next game on our list. Number 8, Yoshi's Crafted World. Yoshi's Crafted World was announced at the E3 Nintendo Direct on June 13th, 2017. It finally released 654 days later on March 29th, 2019. This seems like a peculiar one because this game doesn't seem that ambitious. After all, it's a 2.5D platformer created in Unreal Engine 4 with some neat puzzles, a couple small cutscenes, and a cute crafty aesthetic. So why the long wait? When announced, it had a release date set of 2018, but the game was obviously delayed until the last possible minute of the 2018 to 2019 fiscal year, March 29th, 2019. When we watch the footage from the initial E3, which includes a significant amount of Nintendo Treehouse footage demoing full levels from the game, the problem is clear. This game had a really neat mechanic where foreground and background are parts of the 2D levels, and at times the world can be flipped to see the backside of the stage. But in the reveal trailer, this is THE mechanic. The strapline is, there are two sides to every story and every stage, and the levels could be flipped at the player's will. This, however, is not a central mechanic in the final game, instead appearing in only a handful of levels, and was inevitably the cause for a fairly significant delay in an otherwise cute and inoffensive game. Number 7, Fire Emblem Three Houses. 
With its release not too far into the Switch life cycle, it doesn't feel that this game had this substantial of a weight. But Fire Emblem Three Houses was a game that was announced even two months before the Switch itself launched during a dedicated Fire Emblem Direct on January 18th, 2017. The acclaimed strategy RPG saw its release on July 25th, 2019, after 918 days. Surely this game was announced earlier than it needed to be, but perhaps Nintendo saw fit to add it to the Fire Emblem Direct to bolster its announcement lineup. However, it also faced delays from 2018 into the following year, largely as a result of scope. This is the first time the series transitioned to games operated largely out of a well-designed mixture of menu navigation and cutscenes into one with a sizable 3D hub area, including side activities and battles which can be viewed from above or with the camera on the battlefield itself. All of this means that the development team at Intelligent Systems had to enlist the help of Koei Tecmo for much of the grunt work. And despite a few shortcuts taken on some janky texture, the delay served this game very well and is now the best-selling game in the series. Number 6. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for this sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Nintendo dropped a short, cinematic trailer during the E3 of 2019 on June 11th. Yet again, this was an example of announcing a game much sooner than it needed to be announced, but I'd suspect Nintendo also expected for the game to release much sooner than it would, 1,431 days later on March 12th, 2023. This is a particularly interesting example as the game now boasts the longest wait time between new mainline Zelda entries, a total of 2,261 days. Which is interesting because the fandom largely asked for a shortened development timeline, akin to the year and a half between Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. In theory, reusing assets and game engine would achieve this, but despite doing that, Tears of the Kingdom took this long. The reasons, though, are threefold. Firstly, COVID happened. That's bound to slow down any and all game development. Nintendo was reportedly very ill-prepared for a work-from-home game development solution, so until they were able to return to the office, much game development likely stalled altogether. Secondly, the game reuses Hyrule from Breath of the Wild, but now there's a whole world floating above the ground and likely caves beneath. Not only does this require additional development time, but walking the fine line between keeping what's there and making it fresh inevitably takes time and nuance that creating a valley or mountain from scratch may not. Lastly, Breath of the Wild is closing in on three times the sales figures of the next best-selling Zelda game, Ocarina of Time, and that's including two full retail releases on Nintendo 64 and 3DS. This is thanks in large part to the game's scope and amazing critical reception, so to follow that up means chasing perfection, and that takes time. And on that note, Number 5. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild our reveal to release timeline for this game is largely dependent on what we count as the reveal. I've chosen to go off public announcement of intention for the game. So while Breath of the Wild itself was shown for the first time at the June 11th E3 in 2014, it was actually all the way back on January 23rd of 2013 that Eiji Aonuma, series producer, announced on a Nintendo Direct the direction and intention of the game, referred to often in its time as Zelda U, as it was the Zelda game for the Wii U. At the 2014 showing, the game was given a 2015 release date, which would put its release at over two years from announcement. However, for two main reasons, the game did not see a release in 2015, nor in 2016, but finally on March 3rd of 2017, 1,500 days later. The first of two reasons for the delay was simply the scope of the game. The development team spent two whole years developing the complex physics and chemistry engine for the title in tandem with the pre-existing engine, Havoc. But then once that was done, it took a standard three years to actually build the game part of the game. But the second factor was simply that Nintendo decided to cross-release the game on the failing Wii U with the then upcoming Nintendo Switch, meaning this game couldn't come out until the console did. And as such, Breath of the Wild earns the fifth spot on our list. Number four, Bayonetta 3. Although not specifically a Nintendo IP, Bayonetta is a Sega-owned franchise developed by Platinum Games whose last two games have been published by and perpetually exclusive to Nintendo. But as we learn from game director Hideki Kamiya, Nintendo is in charge of marketing and thus chose when to announce the game as well as its eventual release. The game was first announced at the Game Awards on December 7th of 2017 and after numerous years of silence, releases 1,786 days later on October 28th, 
2022. The initial reason for the long wait was a very premature announcement. Alongside the announcement for this game, ex-Nintendo of America president Reggie fils announced the ports of Bayonetta 1 and 2 for the Nintendo Switch, coming only two months later. And to sweeten the pot, making this reveal more exciting was the very short, very vague teaser for Bayonetta 3. In the years to come, radio silence mostly followed. A pandemic occurred, and developer Platinum Game announced and released a whole separate and ambitious Nintendo published game, Astral Chain. Development for Bayonetta 3 reportedly went smoothly behind the scenes, but just must have been slow going for a while there. Honorable Mentions I had to create rules for this list, otherwise it would have been an assortment of games without much rhyme or reason to it, and some titles that may end up as vaporware. But before we get to the top three, I wanted to throw out a couple honorable mentions that took a while but aren't completely Nintendo published, so didn't make this list. First, Dragon Quest XI. This was heavily marketed by Nintendo and likely distributed by them on the Switch, but not Nintendo published. However, director Yuji Horii confirmed publicly that development had begun on the port even before the Nintendo Switch was officially announced, still being referred to as the NX. So after that news, on August 22nd of 2016, it was 918 days before it released on September 20th, 2019. Furthermore, due to small dev teams among other things, many indie games share the fate in this waiting game. Super Meat Boy Forever took 1,211 days between reveal and release. Meanwhile, among some others, a few announced indie games are still running up their tally to this day. At the time of this video, Sports Story is going on 1,011 days since reveal. Hollow Knight Silk Song is 1,193 days. King of the Hat is 1,480 days in. And finally, Mineko's Night Market is at a whopping 1,887 days. And each of these still have ample time to wait even longer. And lastly, for the honorable mentions, Shin Megami Tensei 5. This was actually Nintendo published in the West, but not in Japan. The game was first announced on January 12th of 2017, although development didn't actually begin in earnest until 2018. And Atlas purportedly was too excited to wait and share it, so by the time it released on November 5th, 2021, a grand total 1,758 days had passed. Now let's see our final three. Number three, Metroid Prime 4. This game has had just about all of the worst case situations for a game publicly in development. It was announced at the E3 showcase on June 13th of 2017, and at the time of this video, neither does it have a release date, nor have we seen it again. Ordinarily, Nintendo would not have announced this game at that time, opting instead to wait until it's closer to release and show gameplay, or a cinematic at least, rather than just a space logo. But the reasoning here is sound. Nintendo was also announcing a 3DS release of Samus Returns, a remake of the Game Boy Metroid game people don't care that much for. So after years of poorly received Metroid releases, Nintendo escorted their new remake on their old handheld with a new announcement for a new game on the new console that no one was expecting. But a year and a half later, disaster struck behind the scenes and Nintendo chose to publicly announce a complete restart of the Metroid Prime 4 project. As the quality of the game up to that point, developed purportedly by Bandai Namco was not up to their standards. Instead, the game was handed over to Metroid Prime 1 through 3 developer Retro Studios, to much fan rejoicing. However, after being announced too early and being completely restarted, the game has still yet to appear at all, with the exception of a mention here or there reassuring that development is going well. The final holdup is certainly the same as with Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Nintendo wants to create a prestige piece, and anything less than a masterpiece will just have to be further refined. For this reason, we are now 1,921 days out from the announcement of the game, and that number ticks up every day. In the end, expecting release no sooner than holiday 2023, we'll see a figure closer to 2,300 days or more. Truly, that is a wait. Number 2, Pikmin 4. This game was nearly vaporware. Software that's announced and never mentioned again, left to fade into the forgotten. On September 7th of 2015, series producer and Nintendo creative fella Shigeru Miyamoto said plain as day that we can confirm that Pikmin 4 is in development, but that is all we can confirm at present. And additionally, it actually is very close to completion. This was only two years after the release of Pikmin 3, but since then, it had been radio silence on the Pikmin 4 front outside of confirmation that the quote was, in fact, 
referring to a Pikmin 4 game and not the Hey Pikmin spin-off that followed on the 3DS to generally unfavorable reception. But where did it go? According to consistently reliable leaker Emily Rogers in 2019, the game restarted development from the ground up at some point. But even then, we heard nothing. However, Pikmin 3 released as a deluxe version on the Nintendo Switch in 2020, which some saw as potential lead-up to Pikmin 4. And now with the announcement of it officially coming in 2023, we only had to wait approximately 2,853 days. It's still a mystery what happened to the game in the first place, but my suspicion from Miyamoto announcing the actual release with an emphasis on control options of the Switch is that Pikmin 4 was planned for Wii U with control schemes that worked for that console specifically. But as that console was showing more signs of failure, the project was shelved so as to not completely bury an already low-performing series into obscurity. Now, just to wait till we can bask in the beauty of Pikmin 4 when it releases in 2023, or gets delayed another 2,800 days. Number 1. Metroid Dread Similarly, if not even more so than Pikmin 4, Metroid Dread could have been vaporware. While I won't recount every detail of the complete history of Metroid Dread, I'd like to point you to this video by Did you know Gaming for further information. But where it matters for our purposes today, to the naked eye, Metroid Dread was announced for the Nintendo Switch on June 15th of 2021 and released on October 8th of 2021, just 115 days later, which is a fast turnaround. But actually, it's not that straightforward. Series producer tells us that he'd been planning Metroid Dread and trying to get it off the ground for years, but this video isn't about games planning to come out, but announced ones that we're waiting for. And this game was announced within another Metroid game. On August 27th, 2007, Metroid Prime 3 Corruption was released, and at the end of the game, text reads, Experiment Status Report Update. Metroid Project Dread is nearing the final stages of completion, which followed a popular leaked document of key DS games set to be announced in the future, two years earlier in 2005, with Metroid Dread as one of the listed games. At the time, the leaked document and confirmation of verbiage and title was by all accounts an announcement, but then years passed by. A whole decade passed by. In the end, 5,156 days 14 years and a month passed by before the game finally released. He tells us that he's known what he wanted the game to be the whole time, but had to wait for technology to be able to do that. I'm sure the recent success of Metroidvanias also persuaded Nintendo to cough up a little extra to help out. But in this case, the game we waited the longest for was in fact the one on which we'd stopped waiting. All in all, across these 10 games, when it's all said and done, we'll have waited over 17,000 combined days between reveal and release. And my question to you, is it worth it? Would you rather know what games are on the horizon and wait in anticipation, or be surprised about a game coming just around the corner? Let me know all that and more in the comments below and check the description for our next giveaway of an eShop gift card. Also, to support the channel, subscribe, like the video, and check out our Patreon to see all of our perks listed out. All right, that's it for this one. Peace and blessings.